So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we'll be going over some GCSE Maths past exam questions related to percentage change. Now as always I'll include a copy of the questions that we go through in this video and I'll also include a link to a lesson that goes over this topic in more greater detail in a li as links in the description below for you to download at your own leisure. Now before we get started working through some past exam questions let's just have a quick overview over what it is you actually need to know to be able to comfortably answer these types of questions in exams. So the first thing is you need to know how to find percentages of amounts. So either this could be using the fraction which I probably wouldn't recommend but more recommended is going to be using decimal multipliers. You also need to know the decimal equivalence of percentages, so knowing that 0.25 is 25%, 0.23, 23%, 0.07 is 7%, etc. You also need to be aware of and comfortable using decimal multipliers, particularly when using the calc uh, when working on calculator papers. Also recognizing a percentage increase or decrease. So a percentage increase will be identified as a decimal multiplier where the decimal multiplier is greater than one. A decrease would be where the decimal multiplier is less than one, so like a zero point number. You also need to know the formula for percentage change. Now this formula is not given to you in the exam and something that you will need to know and revise. So it's definitely worth noting that particular form if you don't know it already. And also what's really important with percentage change questions, although they don't carry many marks, usually maybe two, at most three, reading and understanding the question is really important. Ideally, what you need to know is know what the original amount is and what the new value is. Now, it's not always going to be the smallest value being the original and the highest or the, low, the highest value being the new price or the lowest value being the new price. It could go either or. So make sure you read the question carefully to fully understand which is the original, which is the new value. Now, before we get started working through some past exam questions, a little reminder that if you want access to these questions, there'll be a link in the description for you to download and have access to the questions so you can have a go at these questions before watching through this video. Or alternatively, you could just simply pause the video, have a go at the question and unpause as we go through the answer. Also, if there's any aspects of percentage change that you're not sure about, then I strongly recommend that you watch a video which goes through this as a lesson, which again, I'll include a link in the description for you to access that as well. So looking at question one, it says that a toy costs 20 pounds. The price increases by two pounds. What is the percentage increase in this circle, your answer? Well, for this, we just need to work out what two pounds is of 20 pounds. So if I then do 2 over 20, that's going to be 0.1, so that represents 10%. Moving on to question 2, it says prices in a sale are reduced by 15%. What decimal would you multiply by to find out how much you would save? So for this, we're actually wanting 15%. So what is the decimal multiplier going to be if you're wanting to find out what 15% is? Well, it's going to be 0.15. Moving on to question three, it says the mass of a puppy increases from two kilograms to three kilograms. Work out the percentage increase of the mass. So again, remembering the formula, it's the difference divided by the original multiplied by 100. So here, the difference between the two amounts is one. The original amount was two kilograms, and we're going to multiply that by 100, which then gives us an answer of 50%. Moving on to question four, it says John's weight in January 2021 was 80 kilograms. His weight in January 2022 was 72 kilograms. Find the percentage decrease in John's weight. Now, again, the formula is exactly the same. So it's the difference divided by the original multiplied by 100. So here, the difference between the two weights is eight. The original weight was 80 kilograms. And we multiply that by 100. Now, 8 over 8 is 1 tenth, so that's going to be 10%. Moving on to question 5, it says that a rectangle has a length of 20 centimetres and a width of 10 centimetres. The length is increased by 20% and the width is increased by 10%. Find the area of the enlarged rectangle. So for this, if we look at the length, we want to increase 20 centimetres by 20%. So that's going to be 20 times 1.2. And if I type that into my, well, 20% of 20 is going to be, well, 10% is 2, 20% will be 4, so that's going to be 24. Then the width 
is going to be 10 and that's going to increase by 10% and 10% of 10 is 1 and so that's going to be 11 so then the new area is going to be 24 times 11 which gives me an answer of 264 then moving on to question 5b it says find the percentage increase in the area of the new of the rectangle so here we've got the original area which was using the original dimensions which is 20 times 10 which is 200 we've got the new area which we calculated in part a which is 264 so then using the formula of the difference divided by the original multiplied by 100 so the difference is 64 the original area is 200 multiply that by 100 and we get an answer of 32 percent moving on to question six it says that a square has a length of 12 centimeters and its length has been increased by 15 to 15 centimeters find the percentage increase in its length so again using the formula of the difference divided by the original hopefully you know this formula now because i've written it about five times but either way it's a good way of remembering it so here the difference between the two numbers is three the original is 12 and we need to multiply that by 100 and that gives us an answer of 25 percent 6b then says find the percentage increase in the area of the square well the original area is 12 times 12 which is 144 the new area is going to be 15 times 15 which is 225 so then using this formula here the difference between the two numbers is 81 the original is 144 multiply that by 100 and we get an answer of 56.25 then for question 7 it says in a sale all items are reduced by 30 percent on the final day of the sale uh, uh, the sale prices were reduced by 20 percent Work out the final day price of a sofa that was priced £290 before the, step, the sale started. So for this, we're starting with our original amount, which is 290 So first of all, we were decreasing by 30%. So again, always start with 100%. Taking away 30% is 70%. 70% as a decimal is 0 0.7. Then again, we're reducing by 20%. So again, start with 100%. Take away 20 gives us 80%. That as a decimal is 0.8 so if i enter all of that on my calculator i get the correct answer of 162 pounds and 40 pence moving on to b it says work out the percentage decrease between the original prices and the final day prices well again going back the original was 290 the new price is 162 and 40 pence so then the difference between the two amounts is £127.60 over the original, which is 290 Multiply that by 100 and we get the answer of 44%. Then moving on to our last question, it says the table shows the times that Fred Keely and Marvin Bracey ran in the semi-final and the final of the 100 metres at the Athletics World Championship. Which sprinter had the greatest percentage improvement? So for this, what we need to do is, first of all, work out the difference between the semi-final time and the final time for each of the two runners. So here for Fred, it's just going to be 10.02 minus 9.86, which gives us a difference of 0.16. And then for Marvin, 9.93, take away 9.88, which gives us a difference of 0.05. So then using these different values, if we just title Fred. So it's going to be the difference, which is 0.6, divided by the original, which is a semi-final time. Multiply that by 100, and we get a percentage of 1.6%. Then for Marvin, we do exactly the same. So it's going to be 0.05 over the semi-final time, which is 9.93, multiplied by 100, and we get an answer of 0.5%. So again, which sprint had the greatest percentage improvement? The answer is Fred. And there we go.